Hello, this is the part two video for the introduction that I did the first time. Um, if you didn't get to watch it, no problem. This will cover it all. This is basically so you guys out there who uh, watches my channel come to support from time to time or all the time every time I upload. This is for you guys and for the new ones that's going to be coming to join uh, my channel or check out my channel. You'll have a better understanding of who I am, where I'm from and all that good stuff. So, um, my name is Bissarat. And I am from Africa, East Africa. I was born in Ethiopia. My parents are Eritreans. Uh, I have never been to Eritrea, but I do want to go visit. And I haven't been back to Ethiopia since I've been here, which is in 1995. I have 10 brothers and sisters, including myself. I have six brothers and four sisters, or four girls, including me, of course and there's twins in there. I used to be very um, uh, embarrassed actually when I was back home to say how many brothers and sisters I had because it wasn't really normal. You know, most of my friends and people that I went to school with only had like two or three or four, five the most um, siblings. And here I was, I had like 10, you know, and, so, and I just never, you know, people who knew us knew us. They knew we were a big family, blah, blah, blah. You know, my mom always said, you guys don't need friends, you, have, you guys have each other. But it never made sense to me. It's like, mom, please, are you kidding me? Like, we have to have friends. Like, you know, we need our own friends and all that. But I did grow up um, kind of like a tomboy. Everyone in my family always said, oh, you know, you're just like one of them. So I guess I became like one of them. I used to boy game, all kinds of games growing up with my brothers. I was literally like one of them. Um, but it was pretty cool. So growing up, I used to really hate my name. I never understood why my mom wanted to name me Sarat because I knew, you know, there were some kids back home in my school that had the name Bisrat because it's it's for both. The strat is for a guy and a girl. Um, might be spelled different. I'm not exactly sure. Even my name is spelled different than like most of the strats that I know. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. It's pronounced the same, you know. So I was just like, oh, why did you give me a boy name? You know, that's how I felt because it's like I'm part of the boys growing up. You know, I'm in the middle of boys and I have a boy name. Like what? And then I came to America and realized nobody had my name and I loved it even though no one knew how to pronounce it which I really didn't really get bothered by. A lot of people I come to understand they don't like when their name is being mispronounced. For me it lets me know whether you know me or not. It, even though even people who know me don't know how to say it 100% correctly with the exception of some. At least I know, like, it, I don't know if it makes sense, but at least I know who they are, you know? So I kind of grew up uh, after, you know, knowing that I didn't have too many people with the same name loving my name. So it kind of was like, thank you, thank you to America. <laughs> That's how I felt. Um, another thing was when I came to America is when I was proud to say how many brother and sisters that I have because I come to find out early on I have brothers on my mom's side I have this many on my dad's side I have this many so it's this many and I'm just like wow okay that's very interesting and like it kind of taught me something real quick because I was like I love it like these aren't their half brother and sisters I know you know blood is blood is blood but I I yeah, I was like, sweet, you know, I don't know what this, I mean, I know I was young, but that's kind of when I kind of was like, hmm, early on, I was like, oh, you know, actually, yeah, whenever I was asked, I would be like, yeah, I have 10 brothers and sisters, including me, uh, same mom and dad, you know, I was just like, these people, you know, have half brother and sisters, and they're proud to say, I don't know, it's not that I wasn't proud of my brothers and sisters, it just it was uncommon, unheard of, and I didn't want to explain, and I hated 
when people are like, oh, your parents are busy, please, like, come on, like, I don't care, like, don't say that to me, like, do you think I want that vision in my head? No. So, I think it was all that combination that just, I didn't care to say how many brothers and sisters that I had, but I love them dearly, every one of them. Um, yes, you might say, how do you... How are you close to some than not or whatever? We're close, most of us, um, but there are some that are a lot closer to me than, you know, I don't know, it's weird to explain, but I would die for each and one of them. I would give my last breath for each and one of them. So my name, Viserat Mean, my mom named me Viserat, meaning good news and sunshine, sunrise, so all that combined together. It does have a good meaning, I just wasn't too happy about it growing up, that's all. And then early on, I was very happy. And then um, the city where I'm from had like two or three people with the same name. There was a little girl, a boy, it was, uh, and then another, like an adult a lady, an uh, older lady, so. Um, so yeah, it's still there. Uh, the name, but I think every one of them spelled it differently. It's, it's very interesting. Um, but when we spell it in our language, you can only spell it one way. I love it. Like, there's no way you can spell it a whole, you know, like English is different. But yeah, in our language, you pronounce it, you say it. It is Sirate. There's four um, letters there, and that's the only way you can spell it. So yeah, in English, we might have all spelled it differently, but in Amharic, it was the same. Yeah. Why did I want to create YouTube channel? Well, because um, a lot of time, my friends and family always ask me, oh, how did you do your hair? What did you do? Or I would get questions about, like, oh, how did you do your eyes? Because I love makeup. Like, um, I've been wearing... Like I started out with mascara and then eyeshadow and then that was it for so long and even now like it is like 2% of the time that I wear foundation or powder or, or anything like that like I'm not big on it. Right now I don't even own any foundation or powder. Yeah, I'm more about eyes and then just Recently, like I started liking lipstick. I've always liked lipstick growing up. I would wear my sister's stuff, but I didn't start wearing it until a year and a half ago. And I love it. And I don't really buy a lot of um, expensive lipstick. I think the most I spent on lipstick is like 20 something bucks, seriously. Um, some of you guys might relate, some of you guys might not. For me, the brand really means nothing nothing at all it's not because i can't afford it it's not because this or that or the other it's really because um i just go by what looks good on me so if i'm around sorry my allergy is acting up so if i'm around somewhere and i see like a really good lipstick color the price wouldn't matter to me but it's just a matter of um you know how it looks on me so but yeah, anyways, um, that's another thing you'd get to know about me in the future. I'm not sure if I, I don't think I've showed that part of me on this channel, but um, I love, love, love shopping. Uh, although I've been trying to be good and not shop for, it's been a while too since I shopped actually, it's been quite some time. Um, I sell clothes, <laughs> yeah. But, um, and that was actually to, um, yeah, I started selling clothes to actually support my bad habit. But since I started selling clothes, I never really bought anything for myself. Is that weird? I know it doesn't make any sense, but yeah. Um, but before and after, I've always been a big believer in buying what looks good on you. Not because of the brand, because... I've, I've always felt like I make the brand what it is. Like, the brand does not make me, maybe in middle school or something, but, you know, as i gotten older, it's like, I make the brand what it is. And I think everyone should feel the same way. 
Uh, once you get to know who you are as a person and you know you come to grow into you and know who you are it's really the clothes does not make me have um look i have the attitude and it's not really um cocky it's just being confident so i'm pretty confident if i'm wearing something that looks good on me it looks good on me it's not because it's the brand and basically what i'm trying to tell you guys is brand should not make you you make the brand so it doesn't matter how much you spend whether it's a dollar or a million it does not matter because at the end of the day it's how it looks on you it's not how much you spent on it if it matters how much you spent on it then that's all about like your status or whatever if that's if that's you know what you're trying to keep up with then it's a different story and I can understand that, I'm not knocking it. If you, you know, want to spend that much, I'm not knocking it either. 